Hello, my beautiful fellow moon-ruled babies. What's up, Cancer? Trust your intuition for guiding you to this 2023 love reading. So this is going to be all about your love life in 2023, who you're attracting, who's coming in, the direction your love life is headed, what's going on. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here. I'm going to use my magical powers and spin it and see the overarching energy, the major arcana energy that's going to be guiding your love life in 2023. So spirit guides, let's guide cancer into the energy that is overcoming their love life in 2023. What's the major arcana? And I love this wheel because it means that there are no reversals. Except maybe the devil. We're not manifesting that, though. All right, let's see what's going on for Cancer. Clear energy only. So we have the moon. Yes. So the moon traditionally is Cancer ruled, but in tarot, it's Pisces ruled. I say Cancer and Pisces energy. So the moon is all about illuminations, right? What's been hiding underneath the surface is finally coming to light. Something's being revealed. Something is purposefully showing itself to you the moon can also symbolize motherhood pregnancy um it can symbolize ovulation so there could be something with like motherhood energy in here cancer you could be a mother maybe you're you're impregnating someone making someone else become a mother let's dive into the zodiac cards and see which zodiac season is most going to affect your love life in 2023? So give me more for Cancer. What does Cancer need to see? Flip the deck over, I'm hearing. What's the zodiac season that's going to be most important for Cancer in 2023? In their love life. What's the zodiac season that's going to be most important to Cancer's love life in 2023? So we have Scorpio coming out, honest, determined, focused. So Scorpio season, late October through November, I believe it's November 21st is the last day of Scorpio, is going to be very important for your love life, Cancer. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so tell me about the energy in Cancer's love life. 2023. What's the energy residing over Cancer's love life in 2023? I just want to back this up a little bit. Okay. Energy for Cancer's love life in 2023. One more shuffle. Clear energy for Cancer's love life in 2023. What is it, spirit? What's going on in Cancer's love life? So we have interference. So someone's coming into the picture is what I'm getting. So I don't know if you're already in a relationship. There could possibly be interference there too, a third party. But I feel like a lot of you watching this, I don't know, I'm getting the feeling that a lot of you are single. So there could be someone coming to interfere, make ripples, make waves in some type of way, Cancer. So I'm going to put this over here while I grab my new favorite deck, the Final Rose Tarot. It is so pretty. Got it for myself as a Christmas present. No regrets. Let's see what's coming through for Cancer. Tell me the energy. Oh my goodness, Cancer. I feel like you got a lot of energy with that coming out like that. <laughs> Tell me the energy for Cancer's love life in 2023. One more shuffle. All right. What's the energy for Cancer's love life in 2023? Do you see how beautiful these are, Cancer? I'm obsessed with these. So we have the Page of Rings, which is like the Page of Pentacles. So we have the Optimist, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. More for Cancer's love life in 2023. Cancer's love life in 2023. We have the limo, which is Cancer energy. This is the chariot. The limo in reverse. Cancer's love life in 2023. Ace of mirrors in reverse. Fresh meat. So this is like the ace of swords in reverse. 
So let's take a look, Cancer. They're telling me to take out the fourth, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over a little bit. We have the Ace of Rings, which is like the Ace of Pentacles. So by the way, Ace of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Ace of Pentacles is Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, first date. So the Page of Rings, the Optimist. This could be someone that's really crushing on you, feeling you, really wanting to get closer to you. But then we have the Limo in reverse. So the limo, and this this could be a younger person. Pages are usually very young, um, and pages usually deliver news. So I feel like someone's going to confess to you how they're feeling to, towards you. I feel like they could even be planning to come towards you because pentacle energy is more like getting things in motion physically. So then the limo, this is all about moving forward in reverse. It's kind of a stopped energy. And this is your Cancer energy. So then we have the Ace of Mirrors in reverse. So this is Ace of Swords upright, fresh meat, fresh ideas, really trying to execute um, something new. So in reverse, it's almost like you're, it seems like you're rejecting something new. But then we have Ace of Rings, first date. It's almost like you're rejecting something that seems like it's moving a little bit too fast. Because Ace of Mirrors, Swords energy moves very, very fast. But then we have the Ace of Rings, first date energy. So I feel like you're saying yes to a first date. And it could have been that you said no at first, like someone was moving a little bit too fast. But then they take it a little bit more slowly or something like that, Cancer. And I feel like you're finally like relenting, like, OK, like, fine. Like, we'll see how this goes. And it's really funny that we have the limo and then she's stepping out of the limo, the contestant. So this is like the fool energy. So in reverse, this is kind of like a delaying a new start. So I feel like, like I said, I feel like a lot of you are single and you've been that way for a while, been very independent. So in reverse, there's this energy of like, I can do it myself. I almost feel like you've been delaying this start. Five of rings upright. So this is like the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles, um, is a very lowly energy. It's like feeling shut out, given the cold shoulder. So we have insecure here. So this could even be like you're insecure with other people instead of yourself. Below that is the Five of Roses competition. Yeah, I feel like you've had a hell of a time dealing with people in the past, players, just situations with fuck boys and fuck girls where you're like, I, I, I'm done with other people. <laughs> and I feel like that's kind of why you reject this person at first, Cancer. But then I feel like the tables turn a little bit. So let's get more about that. And Scorpio energy is about transformation, death and rebirth. So maybe that's what's happening. Where at first you were like, hell no. Now you're like, okay, well, maybe. And again, the moon is all about, you know, reveals. It's all about subtleties, emotions. So this could be something kind of random that you weren't expecting to have happen. This one keeps coming out for people. Breathe. Slow down and contemplate the tea. Violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. So there's an energy in here, Cancer, where the universe is really encouraging you to just take things easy. Um, don't overthink things. Uh, just really know that the universe has your back here. Yeah. I almost feel like you're overthinking things. Maybe that's the Ace of Mirrors in a reverse. And the universe is like, it's okay. You can just take a first date. You don't have to get married to this person. Hidden depths. That makes a lot of sense with the moon coming out on the Wheel of Fortune. You only see the surface. Look beyond. Which is really funny because you are the High Priestess too. So I feel like you already do look beyond. But I feel like you're seeing someone that's coming towards you and approaching you and like, Maybe they're kind of doing the same, like, hey, Ma, how you doing? And you're like, oh, my God, how many more times am I going to hear this? But I feel like there's more to this person than just that stupid energy. Maybe they just have, like, a really bad pickup line or come on. Um, and I feel like the universe is like, okay, give them a second chance. Like, let them, you know, have this weird fuck up, <laughs> like this awkward moment, because there's going to be more that you wish you would have waited for with this person. I feel like this person has something hidden up their sleeve. 
whoever this person is. I mean, I, I don't even know if this is like a person. I feel like it is. I was going to say a person or an energy just coming towards you. I mean, what's the difference really, right? So we have twin flame. This is possibly a divine and rare connection. So it's definitely a rare connection coming towards you, Cancer. Tell me more about this energy for Cancer. Bad timing. And I feel like that's what happens at first. Someone is distracted and needs time before proceeding. And I feel like that's definitely you, Cancer. You're like, yeah, you're moving a little too quickly. I don't really know if this is for me right now. I don't know if I want to do this right now. And I feel like you're just not about it with this person at first. But then the universe is like, okay, maybe they came on a little strong. Maybe they came on a little too crazy. Give it a little bit of time, sleep on it, and think about that again. Tell me more for Cancer for 2023. Tell me about this person that they're going to take it slow with. Because I get the feeling you're taking it slow with somebody that tried to come on a little too quickly. It's like where you guys meet in the middle. Spark. Yeah, there is a spark between you and this person. I'm getting that with a twin flame here too. There's a lot of like flame energy. Yeah, I really feel like there's something in here with a... Uh, it's like something doesn't meet the eye, right? You might think this person is just like, oh yeah, you're just another player. Like you're just another whatever a guy trying to come on to me or girl trying to come on to me. But I feel like this person, there's more there than you initially expect is what I'm getting cancer. So maybe give this person another chance. Don't be so hard at first on this person. All right, let's see what's coming out for you in terms of the charms. So we have the skull energy, which really makes me think of Scorpio energy, death, death and rebirth. And I also get something with this bejeweled energy on the skull, like a Davy Jones type of energy or oh, what's that dude's name? Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I always long John silver. There we go. Um, this is the energy of like hidden treasure, finding hidden treasure. And I feel like you find that in this person. But at first you kind of overlook it. At first you're just like, oh, my God, get out of my face like you're bothering me. But then you're kind of like, oh, there's like a lot more to you. Give me more for cancer in this person. So we have the sun and Sag. So this person could be a Sagittarius. You could also meet this person in Sag season. Maybe it's Scorpio season and Sag season because Sag season comes right after Scorpio season, late November throughout December. Um, in the 11th house. So 11th house is ruled by Aquarius. So it's possible you could meet this person online. Aquarius is associated with technology because it provides unity, like the World Wide Web brings people together, which is all about what Aquarius is about. So there could be this energy where you meet this person online or in some way you're technologically associated with them. Maybe you follow their socials. Um, I feel like there's something about traveling long distance with Sag energy, the Archer energy, shooting for the stars, going the distance. So I feel like this is something where you might meet this person traveling or you might meet, like, meet this person away from home, but there's something in here about unity. I feel like you both kind of meet in a place that's not either one of your homes. Maybe you meet on vacation, but that's what I'm getting cancer. It's like this person's coming from a distance trying to hit on you and at first you're like, oh my God, get away from me. But then you're like, oh, there's a lot more to you. I like it. I dig it. So I hope this resonated with Cancer. Thank you so much. Um, if you are interested in checking out the other 2023 readings, those will be available in this playlist that you're watching. And if you want a personal reading, go to www.themoonempress.com.